They act as though they're a duo, yet they are not. Yeah. No, 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 no. So why do the names I water and intense always seem to tie together? The two new artists made great impressions at both Reggae Sound Fest and Summer Sizzle and will hopefully make even bigger ones right here on our stage on you as they make their debut. Six. Six. Another side of the No Six at Six, six. Summer Sizzle story. Six. Fellow artists are weighing in. Yo, yeah, no, why is it all not doing up? Two big reggae projects launched in Kingston this week. Third World's much anticipated Damian Marley produced album and Tyrus Riley's newest music project. An EP, the singing singing artist dubbed Blem. All coming up right here on our stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be back. We've got life, so let's live. You make the time to chase the paper. When last you say your prayer. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Stories now, making our e-news and reviews this week. Here is Jason Williams. After the highly successful revamp to staging of the Beanie Man's A Summer Sizzle last year, the 2019 edition, Gang! which was held at the Woodley Sports Complex in Clarendon on Saturday, had all the ingredients and more to continue on that path. <laughs> And was doing just that. Scores of artists made big impressions on the stage, one after the other. Then came the mad morning part of the show, where many acts shared the stage at the same time. Among them, Bounty Killer Shane E, Kemar Haikon, Iwata, and Intense. But as many of you may know by now, the advertised and much anticipated 6 at 6 didn't happen. Chronic Law, Squash, nor Daddy One were nowhere to be found. On stage, at least, Beanie Man weighed in. I don't know who I'm to seven now. Yeah. Nah, 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 yeah. I, them, them the day, but I don't know what. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if I vibe between them, or them and the management, or them and between our. Right? But I say, yeah, I, it's not my thing. So did the commissioner of police. Did you and your team have anything to do with the six not performing? No, I was told they, they were here. I, I don't know them. I, I was told they left at 5.30 because they were like not in agreement with the time that they were allowed. They were asked to perform. Oh, so you had no interaction with them at all? No, I don't know them. I don't know them. Based on social media postings from Chronic Law and statements from management, there were no contractual agreements for them to appear. A claim Beanie Man subsequently denied in social media. To all of the people then, we don't do fans promotion. And while many people, including artists, weighed in on the matter, Bushman offered this on the six no show. Yo, how are them you to really are dealing with my lad? Eh? And I saw we live as artists, my lad. You just keep your show and we come support that. And we keep our show and you come support that. I saw we know the thing run. Me keep me thing being a man come sing, being a man keep him thing because sing. Coco tea keep him thing, we go sing. Prophet keep him thing, we go sing. If Prophet I give you a thing, Prophet give you a thing. If, if, if Prophet we will keep back with thing, Prophet just can sing. So some man feel like them now go keep a thing or them now go reach one part in our business where them all want to keep something. If you make a money. Yo, yeah, no wise you don't do you know, cause look at new youth so you understand on yourself, you know. In a this you know. Stay tuned to On Stage. Well, here is hoping there'll be some six at six somewhere in the future. Stick it right here on stage, still to come. They act as though they are a duo, yet they are not. So why do the names I water and intense always seem to tie together? The two new artists made great impressions at both Reggae Sum Fest and Beanie Man's Summer Sizzle and will hopefully make even bigger ones on you, right here on our stage. Two new reggae projects launched in Kingston this week. Third World's much anticipated Damian Marley produced album and uh, Taurus Riley's newest music project. An EP, the singing singing artist dubbed Blem. All coming up.
Well, bye bye. No thing me cut off jeans. Girl, see me and I scream when me touch my bean. Yeah, red boom, hey friends for real. Them no the thing turn up and we get back clean. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. Taurus Riley brought together select media fans and friends for a listening and launch of his newest music project called Blem. The event took place at Jungle Sound Bar in Kingston on Tuesday. My call on this night is a, is, is a night of artistry, where this artist blame them, us, all of it, and music. It's artistry in all its glory, Taras Riley. Thank you very much. We've been able to hear the fullness in a sense. Yeah, we yeah. can't limit you. Yeah. We can't say, we know the fullness of the creative cranium, but yeah. what we do know is that the, the Taros Riley that we, we come to love and know, we've always suspected to be very deep, very wide, yeah. eclectic, very open musically, and we've heard tonight A different much style, of that. Yeah. that. That's so much more that you've got in you yeah. always. Well, thank you very much. I want to let me always want to keep you and myself excited about music. Yes. Because if you can predict me, then me not do my job right, you know what I mean? She tell me sister so born with it. Well, respect to your mom and your papa. Tell them some of them with it. So I want to big up Izzy, you know what I mean, for me and him link up and try something different. Big up my team, Jukebox, you know what I mean, for believing in me and you know, me could do what I do. And me always want to give a different style. I mean, me I do it, but we bust right before the internet. Yes. So a lot of people, musical journey starts with the internet. Them don't know about Beware, Stay With You, which is one of them is a root song and next is a lover's rock kind of song. So me always a create and me always a keep you fresh and that is my joy with the music. Me really feel strong about that. So jealousy, greed and envy, cause all we need is just love, boy, just love. You, you've always been multi-dimensional. Yeah. But my message never changed. Yeah. Your, your message never changed. No. But you've, you've always wanted to go places with your music. Like I want to represent Jamaica and the world, man. man. I want to deal with it. You know, I'm an independent artist, you know. Yeah. So everything we see happen for me is just the love of the people, man. Like the idol man is like in the strength, the radio people, the sound man, them. Get your people. I say, go on, sing it, sing it. So them can't give me all them strength. Now I deal with the music like a local thing. I want to represent. My father not there. I want my father name big like Bob Marley name, you know what I mean? So I really have a passion for just push as far as I can push. Well, woman, are we weak, it's traditional. Kryptonite Superman, checking out the first days, Amsterdam, Samson and Salaman. So it's an EP. Yeah, definitely. And it's called Blem. Blem. And it's an acronym, Blending Life's Experiences Musical. It's a mixture, it's a blem, you know? In Jamaica, we don't say blend. Yes. We say blem, you know? I like a blem. <laughs> okay, but it's leading to a bigger project, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, well, right now, is this my musical offering. I have an album coming up, I have a next album coming, but this is women there musically right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I really like it. All right, and tonight you are getting some, some love out there. How do you feel about tonight and the way yeah. the, the blame was received? We love it, you know, and with the kind of apprehensive to see how, wonder how people are going to you know, respond to it, because it's not the traditional reggae. But I mean, we are reggae, you know, we are reggae babies, so we put reggae on any kind of version. Yes. And we are doing this for artists to know that you don't have to limit yourself. The artists who can do one thing, do that one thing the best. But everybody else who can do other things, run, push up, pull up, do everything you can do. You see what I'm saying? Because people are, you have, today you feel this way, tomorrow you feel the next day. We have music for every mood. So, you know, once again, it's an injustice to the people who are creative to do one thing. Yes. If them can do more things. Yeah, promises ain't enough. There's a reason she's acting up. So be gentle with her fragile heart. And all I know, she and, and we want the listeners know that because when the listeners listen to foreign music, them take any kind of song. So them finish a reggae artist and Jamaican artist, we can do any kind of song. Of course. Yeah. And you're a catalog artist, Taras. Yeah. Thank you. Talk a little bit for us, for those listening, especially those upcoming, yeah. about the importance of catalog. 
Yeah, well, the catalog is like a resume, you know, you know, it shows what you, you know, it stays here, it represents you. We have a lot of songs. I, I encourage all artists, dance, all reggae, you know, whatever, do an album. You know, because if when you're going to school, you know, you have a photo album when it's a baby, your mother can show you when it's a baby, you have an album. It marks a time in your life, you know. So catalog is good, it's like your insurance, it's like, you know, that thing that makes you there. So no matter if you're hot or you're current, you, you're always hot because you have music, you're contributing to music. So it's a part of music, you know what I mean? For sure. Okay, so the EP is, is ready now? It's, it's out. out. You can buy it, man, anywhere music, the online, blem, you know? I mean, nice, man, it's a music. If you love music, just buy it and listen, man. Some up touring and stuff for us real quick. What, what have yeah. you been up to? Well, we, we, as a tour, we also do some one-one show all about the place. People who watch social media, them know. We just do Rochester, a Caribbean festival there. Well, we go to Hawaii. We, if you tell about traveling, come like a waste, man, a waste of time. <laughs> but we always are traveling and we give thanks to the people worldwide watching on stage, knowing that right now, Jamaican artists doing great things and are going to continue to be doing great things. So tomorrow, tonight is Jamaica night. Yeah. Blend. Blend in it up, you know? Can we not say blend? <laughs> I blend. <laughs> oh, don't let me drown. I need you to come save me now. Feels like these are some dangerous waters. All right. So that's the blend. Stick and stay right here on stage. Still to come, I water and intense. Two of the hottest names, new names, in dancehall right now. And later, the legendary Third World. Their much anticipated Damian Junior Gong Marley produced new album. Right here on our stage. We'll be back. Everybody sing. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. They act as though they are a duo, but they are not. Yeah, red boom, hey, friends find me. Me off couple, I'm a friend. So why do the names I want and Intense always seem to tie together? The two new artists made great impressions at some fest. And again at Summer Sizzle. And we'll hopefully make even bigger ones on you as they now make their debut on our stage. Intense. Pleasure to be here. This is love, sir. Welcome. Hi, Walter, sir. Yeah, man. Pleasure, man. First of all, explain the link between both of you for us. Well, you know, say, Jet Life, Bill Up Run, Intense. Mm -hmm. Intense first. I do it, and boys, and acts. So me see me live a Kenta intense live a tavern. Yeah. So me I say why me a stay a Kenta and tavern the right cross the bridge and me no intense from real youth. Yes. So me link up with boys eh, send a CD go game and him listen it. So him show me when I say youth your body no. I send him a road and I say anything you say me general. From there so ball game start rolling real way. Yeah. Okay so intense got the initial buzz. Yeah. Get yeah. that buzz with first. The song name Jet yeah. Life. Jet Life. Jet Jet Life. Yeah. And then you make the link, and then on the start roll. So, yeah, cause from day one, I just know. Yes. Side. Right? Yeah. From morning was bridging, you know, about this from them time they were connect. So, and a long time, you know, the money a DJ, me watch the money I perform a longer time too. Side. Mm -hmm. right? Yes, yeah, so me a bad DJ from then. So nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. One connect and I one up to one said we. Yeah. Said. So, so even though you might not be booked for something, one of you, the other will. Come to support if yeah, you're free, yeah. if you're not. Yeah. Yeah, because from you say intense, you say I want, and from you say I want, you say intense. So are people booking both of you together? Yeah. yeah definitely, because right now, remember, we are the hot topic right now. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, okay, so because I was at Sizzle, and we see the man them run on the man in there, and, and I go on, and where the crowd was with you all the way, and in fact, we are saying, wait, oh, six, I go follow this. <laughs> <laughs> Because um, six was supposed to be next, and I mean, I, mean, I say, wait, six, I get some fire here where they need to, they need to, they need to keep the fire here because it's morning light, daylight fire, you know, mm, and I yeah. use the fire to, to start. Love, um, same. So some fest, 
for you was a debut, right? Yeah, yeah. Who was yeah. book? Both of you are one. Both yeah. of you are Two of you are book. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's based on your impact in terms of recordings out there in the streets and so on. Yeah, yeah. the drum work. We do the drum work. You, Sunday yeah. to Sunday. Oh, yeah, nights name on top of nights. Sleepless nights. All our events then. Okay, that's interesting. So you, when you deliberately went out in the streets. Yeah. Yeah, we've been at it. Every yeah. event, no. Been every, every, every promotion. So the people know you in person. Yeah. Not social media alone, but in, in person. person. They must see and I hear you. Yeah. In places where it matters, right? Yeah. Because we all know this. At the street break records. Mm -hmm. In particular, the inner, the inner city dance, them, you know. Sure. They have to go in the street to, to break artists. If them say yes, everybody else have to say yes. Sure. Sure. So when we go season and see the place are burn up, them don't know about Yeah, man. Yeah, they are weird, man. They are weird, man. They are weird. And, and even more weird, too? Yeah. Yeah. They are weird, man. Say it. They been and do it non-stop. Well, it's, it's, it's very, very interesting. All right, so talk about your individual careers now in terms of recordings and how many songs out there are buzz and so on. Start with your intents. Yeah. All right. We have a couple songs well. I have Be Careful, Say Them Real, Bad Girl, Jet Life, and Name Go On. I know Go On, the hot song, number one trending yes. in a three days. Say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these songs break in the streets first? Yeah. Yeah. People get, give them forward in the street before, before them get, them start get rotated yeah, on man. radio. Yeah, man, because as I tell you, you know, daily social media blow up daily, especially Instagram. Mm -hmm. I want to DM, pack up, long line. Same. Yeah, man, I say, DJ, I love how you did it. Just go and do it, see me, just stay focused and things. So, all of them things they know, just push me for no say, and just me for go harder. And as so comes, go hard, fine. Yeah, of course, I'm free. <laughs> and, and what are your, your walk? Talk about your walk first. Yeah, man, you have tick, tick, you have, you have, you have fit. Yeah, Gin and Jet Life. List goes on. I want a V, but I can check it. A long time I do it. I want this thing on 14. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been and do it. Get us splash on them show. 2014, you open this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Get us splash on them show. They work them show there. Yes. But as I may tell you, from boys, if I had from player, everything changed. So, life changed. So, everything changed. Okay, so you just brought to my, my consciousness now another problem in the dance hall with young generation of dance hallers. Performance. A lot of them not so good on stage. That's not a problem for you. No, nah, man. As I always say, we have a team. Say. Listen to the team manager say, and bring out the work there. That's yeah. where you can reach right there on the show too. It's interesting, and it's very interesting what you guys are doing. Because the older man them were started dancer. The foundation man them. Yeah. Them used to them used to be live on the sound system. A chat live. Yeah, yeah. So you both of you now. Uh, you're basically doing the same thing, but you're most, mostly doing a stage. Where there's a stage show, you try to get yourself on it. You're doing Sting from 2014 and so on. So you wanted to do, to be live in front of people as, as spit lyrics. Yeah, we've been and do it. Yes. Because my, which part I come from, Kenta, even film father usually DJ in my yard. Okay. So we born the music, more the night. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, Bridging, now we know. Now we demystify and understand. All who are, uh, you see all of you at um, Sizzle who were asking about the, who they used to. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> a long time now they were in the street. Sure. Okay, Bridging, so, so who's calling you now? Who, where are you getting calls from these days? All over the world. Right now, yeah. we have a tour in a, in a month, yeah. yeah. Mm. Go out to England. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Just, just the UK, not... not Elsewhere, yeah, not we'll on the continent, the European continent, just the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, UK, okay. right? Now. So how how many dates? When well, I go up in August, yeah, couple of weeks, about yes. two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. So they had to call you, and where else? Anywhere else calling you? The Caribbean? I can I can tell, tell you, 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 you at now. So I deal it, and I just no one to our Canada, US, you name it, everywhere yeah, we get called from right now. Yeah. The small islands, them likewise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the numbers are, are shooting up in social media, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, right now, as I tell you, you know, go hard in the number one trending, you know. Okay. Seven hundred mm -hmm. and toes are a million now. All right, so mm -hmm. what we're going to do now is take a pause right now and play videos for both of you. 
Let's go to the screen and I'll play a video for you. Roll out in a me cut off jeans. Girl see me and I scream when me touch my bean. Yeah. Me have cool play I'm a friend. All right, that one is Go Hard by Intense. And before that, we had Cut Off Jeans by Iwata. So those are two videos that are now getting rotated for both of you. Yeah, two yeah. songs in the right now. Yeah, burn up the place. Yeah. And that last one, though, you're going to explain that one for us. <laughs> All Intense. Right. Have All you right. explained that song there? Yeah, okay, I explained it, God. Yeah. We do this, it's a boss. <laughs> Right? Mm. Yeah, all right, that is now. When me say I have a couple of my friends, them everybody have a couple of friends right now. We are either them a baller, them a gangster, them a gallus, mm. them a deal with papers. Yes, right? Yes. Me never say I mean me say I have a couple of friends, right? Yeah. yeah. But some may say you know, you shouldn't be having friends who are deal with papers. <laughs> right, as you put it. <laughs> at least. We have yeah. all type of friends, you see? Yes. Is it from another friend who I do the wrong thing? Yes. As in wrong in my eyesight. Mm -hmm. yeah, a man can't tell me which friend to choose. Okay. That's right. Well, maybe, maybe your eyesight is different from the, that of most of us, or the mainstream, true, as it that, were. That's that true. So, but be careful now, because we don't want to judge you know, and, and go back in our know, past, because we want to do one no, thing. Into that. What no. I mean, too, is that now people are going to love and attention. Yeah. yeah. When, you, when you start to use the wisdom given to you, you know, smart you, true. True. and but embrace life. That's true. all I'm saying. True. Mm -hmm. But remember again, you know, Winford, mm -hmm. I know we are the first to sing about them things, you know. Yeah. Inside? Yeah. And me just uh, entertain. Yes. Inside? So I'm not going to hide from the truth. So I'm not going to sing the truth and that yeah. the fans yeah. want to hear. So no matter how it raw, I intense this, or that deal intense, or that is intense then. So no matter how it sound raw, or how it might have look, I'm going to just give the plain shoot. Okay. Well, embrace, embrace life. Because you visible, you know. Remember yeah. on the bus, being visible and being sure. able to go everywhere mm. and link with the people. And you don't want to have barriers Not or sure. enemies out there or anybody. Even law enforcement are watching you too, too tough. Yeah, I know that. So live, embrace life. And go for the world. See? Yes, and that may be gonna do. But anyway, so when you want good year, sir, till we sooner again. I said, yeah, live and meet it. Yeah, and we are gonna keep a track on, on the career. We want to feel proud of no? Yeah. And then time we do good things, we are gonna tell people so now go on good. And so that when you you know what I mean, we, we, we wanna know that next year or whenever you come back to our stage, yeah. we're not tell you great things. Yeah, so, man. You know what I mean? Most, man. Because already the people love them now. That's that enough for focus part, the love on our get. Because love not get. Love not easy to get, you know. True. That music. True, yeah. Uh, and I know I get a whole heap of right now. And I stood up and saw it. That's why I wanted to punish the, the show. Yeah, man. Wow, I wow, saw it with my eyes. And I said, wait, how them you how them you tell go so? True, man. I want to make two big ups still, you know. Yeah, man, go ahead. Them, you know, big up, big up, my team. Mm -hmm. Jet life, Jet general jet life. Yeah. Boys, the ox. Do one, the governor. Old no? short generation. Old short generation. Said we. Yeah. So, so, of tone. So, so, of tone. The, um, Jenna, Jenna, you're affiliated, right? But yeah, you're not man. officially under the umbrella, or, or are you? Yeah, man. Officially, family team, man. Officially, yeah, officially man. part yeah. of the... Yeah, Jenna yeah. Jet Life. Jenna Jet, Jenna Jet Life. Life. Yeah. Okay. Same. Wicked. Yeah. Well, there we go. So, yeah, we have so much to, to be proud of. And you have associations that you have to... You have, to, you have to make sure that you're, you're in keeping with what they're about. Yeah, we know some of them man there, we know some of them is all about music. True. Saying, and it should always be that, Richie. Mm -hmm. So we're glad we have one up on our stage, boss. Yeah. That's it. What good? Mm, we're glad yeah. to that to man. Yeah. Water. I water. Yeah. <laughs> Bless out. All right, so there you have them right here on our stage. Stay with us. Still to come right here on stage. Loving you is easy. Cause the way you make me feel. Third was more work to be done. Produced by Grammy Award winning performer, producer, songwriter, Damien Marley. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. World's much anticipated 22nd studio album is now in stores and online everywhere. This music born in Kingston, keep it grooving without fear.
But before we get into what and who are the features of the album, a look at a big special we did right here on our stage with the legendary band back in October. Every wind that blows, every wind that blows. Loving you is easy is what happens when the legendary third world 96 degrees. teams up with multi-Grammy award winning singer-songwriter, producer, Damien Jr. Gong Marley. So the thing said, Loving You Is Easy is the only released single from Third World's much-anticipated forthcoming album. Whoa, 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 yeah. And the reggae ambassadors come not only to perform the track live for us right here on our stage, they will also tell us what keeps them blazing at 96 degrees in the shade, for over 45 years and counting. Third World, right now, right here on our stage. Kat, Richie, and AJ. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. Yes, nice, here. Nice, nice, nice to be here. I'm honored to have you live on our stage. And, and finally for me. <laughs> With a live audience too. <laughs> Let's yeah. give yeah. a yeah. round of applause. <laughs> welcome to our audience. <laughs> special, very, very special treat for the audience. <laughs> Okay, gentlemen, how would you sum up the 45 years? The so 45 years is just commitment that we, um, we try to fulfill. We always try to um, raise the bar and do higher and better. If we do an album, we promote it and we perform it all over the world. Then hence, we do another, we try to make it better than the one before. And this, you know, with a constant pursuit of that, you know, I think it keep, keep us going. You know, we just commit ourselves to the music that we do and what's come naturally to the third world or what you call the third world sound, and we just love it. Yeah, but isn't that a mix of genres? Rock, reggae, dancehall, pop yeah, well, even, a pitch. third world. Yeah, well, precisely, you you. Yeah. precisely, but I mean, it's done in a, in a way in which we have always defined the various genres that you're talking about with our own yes. you know, headspace, as it were, or our own approach as it was. So, yeah, you'll hear Latin, you'll hear funk, you know, obviously reggae because that's our bass, but we are, we are blenders. We blend different things together and all of that, but we're not directly saying that we would be going to try and go right for a dancehall thing and go directly for a, mainly only the reggae music you'll find will go directly to the heart. And you're very consistent with that, aren't you? You're, you've, that's been your, your blueprint in we the 45 so. years, so. isn't it? Yeah. We think so. It's hard to define. Like you're, trying, so we are. you're changing. You've always embraced various genres. Yeah, of course. You're wide open to, to genres. So, mm. how, what, what are some of the highlights of the 45 years? For me, it depends on whether you're speaking of um, popularity, record sales, you know, or a lot of times we get asked questions about moments. Yes. That were special for us. Like, when we got to record with Stevie Wonder, when we got to open for Bob Marley at Lyceum in 1975, you know, when we, when, we got, when we played with the Jackson Five at the National Stadium, you know, things like that are the moments that really define the wonderful times that we have had through the 45 years, performing at Carnegie Hall, you know, playing at Giant Stadium to yes. 60 or 80,000 people you know, playing in Poland to almost a million people for their festival over there. So there are moments, but achievements kind of run hand in hand with that because you couldn't have those moments without achieving. But I think our records, I think, is one of our major achievements. Like now that we found love, Reggae Ambassador itself, 96 Degrees in Shade, Sense of Purpose, you know, and even this, new project that we're doing with Damien. To us, it's an achievement because we've been at it now for three years. Yes. And so those big, iconic uh, songs, global anthems, I would call them. AJ, you coming on? You're how many years in the group now? Uh, about five. Five years. Five years, yeah. Mm. Coming from on about, to do this. From about 2012, yeah. Talk about your, your own experience, your first time out there on the road with Third World. Well, I, I felt like I was um, thrown in the deep end of the pool and, yeah. and said swim, <laughs> you know what I mean? Pretty much, but because um, even saying that um, I, I grew up, you know, learning and, you know, exposed 
to the third world sound. So, yes. so it's, it's not like I'm a, I'm a, I was a foreigner. Um, it's just that um, third world's catalog is so vast mm -hmm. that you know, as, as a as a lead singer, to learn the the the, the songs, you know, each song and to interpret them is 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 a is a challenge. But I, I'm a, you don't know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> you're a master vocalist, sir. That's what you are. Yes, sir. And you're walking in the footsteps. You're yes, replacing Thank you. the, the great Bonnie Rocks. Yes. Um, you must have been nervous about facing those fans out there the first time, oh, yes. wondering whether they will oh. accept you. Wow. Um, I, I've gotten some stories of, a fan coming to me and say, you know, I came to this event determined not to like you. <laughs> but you know, when they when they heard when they heard the the the, the 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 presentation, you know, after a few songs, they said, you know, hey, screw it, you know, screw it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. 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 Of course. Call it a day. Yeah. <laughs> Cause the selection selecting you, choosing you. Mm. AJ to do this uh, mm. would have met the, the approval of these great men and they knew what they were doing because they are original <laughs> members of the of the group yeah great musicians themselves mm -hmm. so uh, you without know a doubt. without a doubt mm. this song this loving you is easy is a is a wider project right it's an album the, it's from an album yeah it's yes. from a collection of songs that will be an album you know Okay, so it's not, it's not, um, the album is not put together yet, it's not finished. It's completed almost, you know. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah more, we're just tweaking, we're just tweaking. Coming on, coming on board, you know, but we're pretty much at the finish line. And I was reading, there's a little backstory. I don't know if I have it right, but I think I saw something that 40 years ago, when you recorded 96 Degrees in the Shades, it was the same studio, same time, mm -hmm. when Bob, recorded Exodus. That's correct. And then 40 years later, you're in the studio working on this album mm -hmm. with Damien yeah. and Steve Marley, yeah, Marley in the same studio. It's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> it's bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, talk about that. What was it like then back in, in what, 77? Yeah. The, well, the, at that time, we were so you know, we were just so buoyed by the fact that we had a record contract. We already had an album out, mm -hmm. a green album with Satanga Sagana, and, um, and I've got to get along and all those songs. So we were already out there. And, um, you know, the confidence level was high. And so when we got into Basing Street Studios, Bob was there, so we would share the time with him. Either we would come in in the day first and he'd come in in the evenings, or vice versa. So, so the key to it now is that when we went and we, had, we hadn't reached a point where we, where we were recording at Hope Road yet. We hadn't okay. reached that point yet. But we have worked with him down at Tough, we have worked with them in at Tough Gang Studios and we used to work down at Tough Gang Studios and quite possibly even in those days we probably ran into Bob. So as I say, it's just, it's really something that's very special to us because of our relationship with Damon through the years. Yes. And um, we treasure it as like saying that, that his uncles are producing their, one of their favorite nephews, or our nephews producing his uncles. That's how we look at it. <laughs> That's how you look at it. <laughs> yeah. And so two great albums uh, in Reggae's catalog were produced during the time. And um, timeless albums. And now the, the, the Damien must have been a, a baby then. Was he even born yet? Um, I think for, for, for 96 degrees, he wasn't born yet because he's born in 78. He's right. born around the time that now that we found love came out. And they're producing you yeah. in, this, in, in this album. So is it a product? <laughs> the, the album is <laughs> produced entirely by the Marleys or, or they're producing tracks on it? I mean, specifically, Damien is doing the producing, but Steve Marley is like his his reflection, you yes. know, that he, he personally himself, like he had said, made a statement one time that anything that he does, he take it to his brother and play it by him and say, and based upon his reaction. The album was officially launched at the Bob Marley Museum last Thursday. 
in the form of a listening party at which its producer, Damian Marley, delivered this video message. I must say that Third World is a very important group to the genre and definitely to me as an individual. You know what I mean? Third World played a great part in my upbringing. You know what I mean? In, in, in many different ways. Absolutely, just like the rest of us as a younger generation, they played their roles as our musical heroes who broke boundaries and paved roads that the rest of us could come and follow. And personally, you know what I mean, I was, I spent a lot of time in a lot of their homes as a kid growing up because of being friends with their children, namely Shia Kaur, who is Kat Kaur's son, and Ion Daly, you know what I mean, so I spent a lot of time in those households growing up, you know what I mean, so the lessons go beyond just musical lessons but also life lessons, which is why I'm so proud to be a part of this project. And so honored and blessed to be a part of this project. More work to be done. Congratulations to Third World and the whole crew. You know what I mean? Not Uncle Fiat, Uncle Richie, AJ, Norris, Maurice, Tony Eruption, Truck Back. Big up with, oi! Big up with yourself, road boy. See? Enough love. Zilla says so every time. Up. <laughs> yeah! Now welcome to the Third World. Titled More Work To Be Done, the 11 track album boasts collaborations from Damien himself and artists such as Chronix, this music born in Kingston, Tesson Chin, Pressure, Boss Pipe, Busy Signal, and Taros Riley. Here now is a look at a track from the album as performed for us live right here on our stage. And now, ladies and gentlemen. We present to you our brand new single. Produced by Damien Junagong Marley on the Ghetto Youths label. Third World, keep rolling along. Every wind that blows, every wave that rolls, with the coming and rowing of the tide. Everyone that seizes, everyone that knows, because my love can't hide. Every sun that sets, every sun that rises. And every moon that shines I feel like a winner on my own game show Because you are a sweet state prize and Loving you is easy Cause the way you make me feel Loving you is simple That's the way it's supposed to be
Loving you is easy. All right, so that's our show for this week, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us. Thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. I said it was 96 degrees in the shed. Ten thousand soldiers on parade. They were taking I and die to meet a big fat boy. He was sent from overseas. The Queen implored Was your excellency Before you I come with my representation You know where I'm coming from Caught me on the loose Fighting to be free Now you showed me a noose On the cotton tree Entertainment for you But it's what you done for me 96 degrees in the shade Real hot All right, thanks for watching our video. You know what to do. Click, subscribe, and be on our stage always.